Hello there. What's up? Listen, for a thousand, would you throw this sandwich to, to, to the trash? Really? Yeah, for real. Would you? Yeah, well, of course, yeah, but give me the money first. Let's see. Here you go. Are you gonna re do it for real? Give me that. <clears throat> Is that it? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Listen, for a thousand, would you throw this sandwich into the trash? What? Yeah, I'll give you a sandwich, you throw it, and you get a thousand. Why would I do that, man? It's just a challenge, you know? Just so you can get a thousand. A sandwich challenge? For real? <laughs> yeah, bro. Are you gonna do it or what? Mm, let me have it. Are you gonna do it or not? Just let me have it. Okay. Alright. Look. Hey, why did you do that? What do you mean? I'm not going to waste the sandwich. But you were going to earn a thousand. Why, why are you doing this? Well, food is sacred, you know. You shouldn't throw it to the trash or to the floor. And you never know who needs food, right? Maybe she was hungry. They could need... People sometimes need food, you know. You shouldn't waste it. When I was young, my family had no food at all. My sister and I, we had to go to the streets and we had to look for food, right? Uh, you know what? Um, if I give you 500, okay, will you come with me and to talk about this? And then um, if you accept, we could give the, five, the other 500 to that lady over there. Just talking? Yeah, just for talking. In that case, let's do it. My dad abandoned us when I was eight. He just left. My mom got really depressed because my dad left with someone else. She was always crying. She was crying all day and she stopped sleeping and she was always in her room crying. It was really difficult to see her like that. And at the same time, it was a challenge making my sister focus on in something else because I didn't want to see my mom like that. Whenever I had to work, I had to take my sister with me. Really? Really. So what you're telling me is that you eventually had to beg for food in the streets or what? And are you still sleeping there? I'm paying rent now, I'm somewhere else, but Back in the day, yeah, we were sleeping in the streets with some cardboard over us. And then, well, that was the way we were getting by, you know, begging for money, for food, for whatever people could give us. Oh, I see, I see. And, and how did you get by? How are you trying to get better, you know? What, what's going on? Well... I've always tried to study, you know, if possible. Um, I tried to finish middle school re despite all of these situations, so I just finished it with one exam. Really? I had the opportunity to do that, and then um, after that I just started high school in an open school. Really? Yeah, of course. That's what I want to do. Uh, we already finished. And what do you want to do now? Do you want to work or what's going on? Well, when I finished high school, I've always wanted to improve, you know, to be better, to develop myself. So I would like to study, help people more than anything. That's why I wanted to study law. So now that you're studying, but do you have any other goals? Or are you going to follow that path of just doing things until you improve? Well, back then, I was not only begging for money, you know, I was working and I was helping people. So I was doing pretty much everything that I could over here, over there. 
going to help people who needed some assistance so yeah right now i'm working as a waiter but eventually i would like to keep saving in order to buy a car right for me and also to help my mom oh what do you mean to help your mom well she's got some issues in her lungs you know and i really need to help her get her around but of course i cannot <laughs> i cannot move her just with a bike right no 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 <laughs> that would be really hard um i can see that your bike needs some some training wheels right <laughs> yeah well what do you have told me and given me <laughs> i might get it get some yeah well look you definitely seem like a hard working person and during this time where i've been doing this activity i can see that there are people who are really hard working i always find them and some people are not and like you were saying you're doing whatever you can helping people and now you're sharing that your mom has gone through some rough times but i'm pretty sure that she has given you a lot of life lessons right and it's not hard to grow up like this but well you're doing what you can what do you expect from you from your family to contribute to society well i'm expecting to really have a lot of success for me and my family i would like for my sister to be successful to have a better place to live and uh, some a, a car to move around it's just what i want to achieve you know and how are you paying for your mom's treatments well right now you know well i'm working as a waiter and sometimes i do well small jobs here and there besides working at the restaurant you know i just go wherever i can and i try to do what i can well i can imagine that you cry sometimes when you're feeling really stressed well yeah sometimes when stress is high and uh, the university gets tough and i get angry or sad well yeah of course i do cry look please take this okay i want you to have this money in order for you to get some stuff for you and for your mom no 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 yes take them i want you to have them because you need a reward for being so kind okay why don't you get some fruit <laughs> i don't know look for whatever you need uniforms whatever you need something is something right so please get take it take it take it it's yours but how do you feel well this is a lot and thank you this is going to be really useful the best way of helping is just giving without hesitating you know because we can always change someone's life just being kind just saying hi you never know what people are carrying or going through so just helping helps everyone right to feel better so please never give up okay no 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 don't worry <laughs> thank you very much i would love to stay here and thank you and tell you more of my story but i got to go to study right i mean, i got classes yeah bro who worry let's go let's go yeah well you'll get there in no time with your bike <laughs> yeah bro totally where right, i'll come with you the sun's really harsh right now isn't it yeah bro it's quite heavy i'm used to it but whatever how long is your commute well i usually make about one hour and a half oh i see and under the sun i imagine yeah look bro you deserve all of the success in the world hey look at this car do you like it it's an audi <laughs> of course it looks so good it's new and everything look 
Why don't we make a switch then? A switch? Yeah, let's make a switch. Take this key. <laughs> take it. Take this key. Get in. Really? Yeah, get in. Get in, come on. <laughs> come on, go. But... Come on, do it. No, I, I can't. How... How is this even possible? How are you gonna switch that for this? Why can't you believe it? Don't you believe there are good people in this world? Just like you, you're good. But, yeah, but... I can't believe this. I mean, this is, this is amazing. I can't switch it because... So you don't deserve this. Well, I've made it a huge effort. But uh, maybe in the future I'll be able to get one, but... Not like this. Yeah. Just like this. Look. We are running a social experiment, okay? And we just want people like you, with a kind heart, who help people. Just want you to be successful. So we reward you, people like you. We always give to people like you. So this is all yours, okay? And now you're going to school in your new car. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. I I I will accept this and I'm really thankful. <laughs> Thank you. I really have no I have no words. You have earned this for being an amazing person. For being whoever you are. A good brother, a good son. These are just the products of your effort. So it's yours. Take it and I'll I'll leave in your bike. <laughs> <laughs>